Morning, Coach. Um, looks like you've made some roster changes here. Can you just start with an update on Thomas Shabbat? Well, he's going to skate right now. We'll see how he feels. But uh, uh, right now he's out for tonight. Uh, Zub will draw in. And, uh, uh, and Stepan will come, come in for Chaplin. Okay. What are your expectations of uh, Artem? Just to play a, a, a steady game. You know, keep guys off our net, move pucks when you can. Obviously, with Shabby out, we're going to need some guys to move some pucks for us back there. But, um, you know, all indications and practices and, and in the scrimmages we had, uh, he was very good. Um, you know, at boxing out, at, uh, at uh, he knows how to play the game. I mean, he's coming from the KHL where he's played at a high level. So, um, it's certainly, it's a different transition here tonight, but we expect him to be good. Thank you. We'll go to uh, Ian Mendez at The Athletic. Just uh, one question for you, DJ, and that is uh, Tim Stutz is going to play his sixth game tonight. Uh, and once you get to that seven game threshold, I know this is probably something more the general manager is concerned about, but that's when that year of his entry level kind of uh, kicks in. Would you say that he's he looks like he fits, like he looks like he belongs here after uh, after seeing him in, in five games in the NHL? Yeah, I think there's bits of each game that, that show, uh, you know, both good and bad, but I thought last game, uh, was probably his best game. Now, you know, he had an injury and that's tough when you don't practice with your teammates, you're a young guy and you come back, um, you know, and you go right into the lineup. So I, th you know, I thought he was okay. But then last game after, you know, having a practice, I thought it was his best game. I thought he took care of the puck. I thought he had good speed. Uh, he looked dangerous. So, you know, it's fair to say for sure he belongs. Um, you know, it's up to Pierre to decide if it's, if it's now or if it's next or it's next year. Bruce Garriott, Post Media. Hey, DJ, just uh, on Zub, how much would his age help him? Well, he's played in big games and he's, and he's played in pro games. So it's not a, like a rookie coming in that's, you know, jaw dropping to McDavid and Dreisaitl. It's, it's a guy who's played pro hockey and, and is over here and, and wants to live his dream. So I assume he'll be ready. And, and his age has helped him probably get rid of a lot of those nerves. And um, were you able to, to attend last night's Warriors game? No, you know what? The coaches watched it on TV so we could cut it up um, okay. and have everything done for, for today. There was that option. I know Pierre went to the game and a couple of the players went and watched. But just on, uh, on that, what, what, obviously, what kind of challenge would you anticipate from them? Well, you can't take penalties. The, their power play has been one of the most dangerous in the league for a couple of years now. Um, you know, so you got to keep your stick on the ice and you got to skate. You can't, you can't afford to take bad penalties. And then, uh, you know, every every goal they had last night is either scored by or comes off the hands of uh, 97 or 29. So, um, you know, they're the two top players in the league points wise, I believe, at this point. And, uh, um, you know, you, you a minus or an even shift with these guys is a good shift for us. So when you're out there with them, you have to take care of the puck. Gord Miller, TSN. Um DJ, how are you able to communicate with Zoom? Are you able to talk to him or do you have to talk through someone else? Um, you know what? He, he understands not great, but he's getting better. Um, you know, any communication we have, we obviously lean on Zaitsev, um, you know, for that communication. Um, it's, it's a tough time uh, right now there. I mean, no other year would you have 29 players uh, and you're talking to so many players every day. Um, but when we are talking to him um, about his game, you know, Zaitsev's there to help us. Sylvain Saint Laurent, Ledois. Yes, uh, DJ. We don't know uh, how long uh, Thomas Shabbat will have to, to get off, you know, the game if if indeed he is, you know, really injured uh, injured for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. But if you were to sum up the way he played this year up to up to today, how did you feel about his game? You know, I think he's done a really good job on the power play for us. Although the puck hasn't gone in, all the numbers say it should. But I, I think he's managing it much better. Um, I think he's had his, his certainly his highs and lows. I thought last game was his best game. I thought he was involved defensively. I thought he was skating. Um, and, you know, even though we didn't win the game, I, I, I thought that he led us back there. And I think, you know, he'll give us that every night when he's healthy and, and we'll have a better chance to win. Brent Wallace, TSN. DJ, you talked about the goals going through McDavid and Dreisaitl. If you look back at that goal where you went end to end, do you think players perhaps uh, are guilty of giving too much respect to McDavid? Yeah, I, I mean, if you're not above them and, and and you're not aware of them at all time, you know, it's it's tough for the defenseman. Um, you know, Jake Muzzin standing still 
um, when he's coming 100 miles an hour. And, and it's not like he's the first guy he's done it to. He does it every night to somebody. So our forwards have to be aware of that, that you've got to help these guys out. And if, and if you allow him to go full speed at, at one of our guys, he, you know, he's continued to prove he can do it to anyone in the league. Final one is Ishmael Sai, Radio Canada. Uh, hi, Coach. Um, uh, you, you seem to, to struggle in the last few games to score goals. Is there any players that uh, are accountable for that that needs to do more on the offensive end right now for you guys to, to find your groove back? Well, I mean, we went through uh, analytically through the uh, chances for and against in the Canadian division. I think on the year right now, we're third in the division, the chances for. We just haven't capitalized on these chances. And, um, you know, maybe we're squeezing it. And that's natural of a team that hasn't uh, won a lot of games. Um, but, you know, we've got to be loose a little bit here today. And, and when you get an opportunity, put it in the back of the net. But it's not one guy. It's, it's you know, when you score one goal in three straight games, it's a lot of guys squeezing it. And, um, you know, maybe we get a couple bounces tonight. We start feeling loose and the puck goes in the net for us.